control frames and next is the basic dimension so here you can see the basic dimensions are highlighted here the 25 typical location where from the coordinates 0 0 wherever it is there that we'll discuss later but this 25 you cannot vary and this 45 is a typical position and this 45 also is a typical position so all this typical dimension you never try to apply GDNT because these are basic dimension and critical dimensions so how do you know that which is a basic dimension which is not so that also is a part of GDNT and next is the datum datums as I discussed are the gauge reference and quality for fact parts but while manufacturing you will never get the quality part so most of the people they say that this is the datum inside the part my datum is there no your datum the A which is the perfect surface is your gauging plate is your gauging reference is your inspection instrument not inside the part even though you allot the datums datums is a flat plane maybe with respect to the three different direction x y y z and z x so these are the flat reference perfect reference but after manufacturing parts cannot be perfect so this datums most of the people they say that in, this is inside the part no this is inside your inspection instruments so these all is, uh, instrument you know and different instruments you will be using for measuring the flatness your cylindricity your axial run out and so on so a quick look at the impact of GDNT now so first do you see the geometry control chain so this is the geometry control chain which I have shown you just before and different areas like the basic dimension and geometry with the tolerance and geometric dimension and tolerance and I will discuss about the S, M, what are those within a minute. So if you see the datum A here we have not specified any datums because the first thing which we are manufacturing is with respect to what? So what is the absolute reference? Because when you manufacture a, the first surface then only you can reference other surface like the other uh, perpendicular surface or maybe at an inclined plane with respect to that so because of that here you have not used the you cannot measure the same A with respect to A so because of that you can see here this is the CEO CEO is the term which you can find in any companies where you have all the degree of freedom the first datum plane freezes 3 degree of freedom and second datum plane freezes 2 degree of freedom and third datum plane freezes the 1 degree of freedom so that is a rule which is not possible to discuss uh, within this short period but just to remember that there is a 3 to 1 rule which uh, is used to control the pitching rolling and yawing of the objects and next is your CFO and CFO just like your financial officer which these terms are just I am using for funny sake but this basically you have a two degree of freedom and finally the third datum is a CTO where you have a one degree of freedom so different term like CEO CTO I have used for just a funny sake but these are just a three degree of freedom two degree of freedom and one degree of freedom so that means you move from A B C like this A B C you move from the left to right that means it arrest three degree of freedom this two six so total six degree of freedom if you fix part is stable so that is the part of the GDNT where we fix all the rolling yawing pitching movement of the parts so that that is stable and around that we design rest of all the parts right so this is the scenario where you see the geometry control chain the team they are basically responsible to define this and derive this for the exact interpretation after encoding it not interpretation first so next the impact of GDNT on the actual part if this is the GDNT drawing and this is the actual part as I was discussing you will get the variation everywhere and still you say that it guarantees the fitment and function to a particular extent so GDNT defines the coordinate system you can see the coordinate system is here maybe the center of the hole here maybe the corner maybe this hole so wherever you define all the features are integrated with respect to this 0 0 0 so if you see the x y z just for the reference set so if this is the 0 0 you can see 
ABC is the first datum, primary datum, secondary datum and tertiary datum. So 3, 2, 1. So 3 degree of freedom, 2 degree of freedom and 1 degree of freedom is 6 degree. It arrests like that. So if you hold this block over a surface plate, you cannot move down it. Right. You cannot rotate across this plane. You cannot rotate across this. That means 3 degree of freedom are arrested. Then when you hold this back plate side, again another 2 rotation and translation is freezed. Again finally if you hold this side, all 6 degrees are restricted. That is the 3 to 1.